In February 2011, I did not receive an interview for the Truman Scholarship. It was a bit of a blow. I had spent several hours <laughs> over many, many months writing up an application. And faculty had been telling me since my freshman year at Michigan State that I should apply for this really great public policy scholarship. Not receiving an interview, let alone the award, was unexpected and made me question a few things, especially since a close friend and my co-founder for the Interfaith Council had won the same scholarship the year prior. But I never regretted applying, nor strangely have I really ever regretted not being successful in that application. It was certainly not a good feeling in the moment, uh, but there are a lot of benefits that the scholarships and fellowships process itself can give students completely independent of the awards themselves. Uh, number one is time one-on-one -on -one with faculty. A lot of faculty time goes into any student's application for a grant, fellowship, or a scholarship. Uh, firstly, in the letters of recommendation that they write up, but also that students have to give them some guidance for in the form of CVs, personal statements, time over a coffee to talk about why we're applying for this scholarship and what we're hoping to get from it. Uh, and then two, in the faculty who give their time to help refine personal statements and the like, I took up, I don't want to know how <laughs> many faculty hours uh, reviewing draft after draft after draft of my Truman Scholarship application, uh, but it was time that the faculty were very willing to give. And my relationship with my senior honors thesis advisor at Michigan State was really crafted while preparing the Truman application. And that relationship has been absolutely invaluable, both in my time at Michigan State, and even more so now that I'm a graduate student in the United Kingdom preparing PhD proposals and the like. That relationship really has been such an asset. And so the time with faculty is really incredible and it's something that just can't be gleaned in any other way or through any other process. Uh, number two is time to consider your goals. <laughs> Students tend to get very caught up in the day-to-day, -day, taking classes, trying to run all of those organizations, enjoying the social time, trying to pretend that you're still connected to your family, those kind of things. Very rarely do we take the time to stop and think about what we're actually going towards and why we're doing X, Y, and Z. So the scholarship process really forces you to sit down and think about that. <laughs> and beyond think about that, number three is learning to articulate those goals. Um, figuring out how to say what impact that you're having and what impact you want to have. And the chance to practice and reflect on that is so powerful and something that we tend not to give ourselves in the undergraduate years and is really really helpful both as a general life skill and as a chance to make sure that we've put ourselves on a path we want to be on and we can say what that path is so the process itself i can't say enough about honestly i would advise all students even if you think you haven't any chance in the world at winning to still write up the application just because it's such a helpful guide. Uh, the Truman worked for me, but there are many, many scholarships and fellowships as well as grants out there uh, with applications that can walk you through topic specific questions that can be really, really helpful in just framing yourself and your activities. Also, <laughs> since not winning the Truman, I have gone on to win the UDAL which is an environmental and or Native American Tribal Affairs Scholarship for undergraduates, as well as the Marshall Scholarship, which provides two years of full funding for graduate studies in the United Kingdom. And I would say that I would not have won the Marshall if I hadn't lost the Truman. Uh, yes, people do win both and it's possible, but I would say that it was not winning the Truman that really forced me to delve deeper into those questions and really figure out how to articulate things. Uh, I stumbled upon my Truman application last year while I was a student at the University of East Anglia and it was funny to read through and make men I made mention of faculty that I was working with in the time. So it was really fun to email them that and be like, oh, look, two years ago, you know, the funny things that I wrote. Um, so that was really great. But winning is wonderful and I am having an incredible time over, the United over here in the United Kingdom with experiences that I could not possibly have were I not a Marshall Scholar. Uh, but the process itself 
worth the time, regardless of whether or not any of these years had happened. And I really, really recommend it to you.